half a mile from the last point that she had been seen, um, and she had um, just hunkered down. And so um, the searchers were able to hear her calling and um, were able to find her. Yeah, the, the whole, all of the search teams are so excited and um, that it came out so very well in the bushes on the water no she was actually in really steep terrain um the trees were really dense and there were lots of rocks that's where they wound up finding her yeah what were her emotions like did she say anything i don't know i don't know i came down here to tell you all um so that folks would know so i i don't know how she how she responded or even i didn't even get to see the reunion of the of the of the parents and her but you saw the parents beforehand. What yes. were their emotions like? Obviously, it's been a crazy. Oh, yeah, it was obviously incredibly stressful for them. Um, they were very excited. It was really hard for them to hold back and not want to just like run out and see if they could find her. So, yeah, they did really well and um, and waited patiently and um, and were obviously, I'm sure, very ecstatic when they were able to see her. Can you just speak to the the immense amount of support, search and rescue, 120 yes. plus people? Yes. Yeah, we had over 120 volunteers that came out, and I'm going to read a list because it was a lot. We had Whatcom County Sheriff's Office, Skagit um, Sheriff and Fire, Swinomish Police Department, Border Patrol, Custom and Border Protections, uh, Air and Marine Unit, Air Force Rescue Coordination Center in Florida. Uh, we had uh, the Army, the Air Force, the Navy. Coast Guard, um, Canada also helped as well, the Seattle City Light Fire Brigade and other Northwest National Parks. And I hope I didn't miss anybody because it really was everybody who was really trying to find this little girl and we're so excited and so happy that she came home safe. Is that unusual to have quite that uh, number of people involved in this? Well, it depends. It's one of those times where um, everyone, I think, was really touched and concerned. And so everybody rolled out and, um, and we're really grateful that they did because it was very much a team effort and we could not have done it without all of the volunteers and all of the folks who came to help. Well, Tommy? we just arrived, so we will just need to start over. So what is the good news? So the good news is, is uh, we were able to find the lost little girl. Um, she has been re reunited with her parents. Um, she appears to have been in uninjured. Um, she was found in some dense trees uh, with lots of rocks and really steep terrain. Had she, what had she done to protect herself? I, I have no idea. We don't know that yet. We basically have just gotten this information. We wanted to let everybody know the good news. And so did she call out to them? Did they just stumble they upon did, her? No, they did hear her calling out um, and that's really about all I know calling out help do you know? I don't know oh. I don't know yeah well, you are much happier than you were when I talked to you a half hour ago. I am much happier it's very exciting news and we're all very thrilled that she was able to come home safely what does it mean you said she hunkered down well so she must have found a spot to be um, because if she was only a half half a mile from the last Point that she was seen so it wasn't like she continued to wander and wander and wander um, and so we think she probably sat down somewhere um, and then she wound up calling out to the rescuers and they were able to find her so she wasn't that far from where she was last seen yeah, no nope. no nope, about a half a mile how does that work when you do almost a 24-hour search or I mean, a 20 hour search 20 almost 24 and yeah she was only a half mile away how mm -hmm. does that I mean how I almost feel like that's pretty close, but maybe you can put it into perspective. Well, so it's it's hard to put in perspective unless you can actually see the forest. It's very dense. It's very steep, very rocky. We have lots of different trees and it's really hard to find people. And so, um, you know, the searchers were out. It's it is steep. And so maybe they went this way and she was over here. It's really it's incredibly difficult to find a small child in such a in such a big space. And so it, it's dense and thick like this. Yes, it is dense and thick like the um, like the landscape behind me. How so those are the challenges that you face when you're doing this? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. How important was it to find her maybe within these last couple hours before it got dark? I mean, it, it was getting to crunch time. Yeah, so um, the search that we did last night in the dark was incredibly difficult because of the terrain and because of the density of the foliage. We have a lot of downed trees. It's really hard to be searching when all you have on is your headlamp. And so um, we were hoping that we would be able to find her before before we hit darkness again. So we're very glad that we were able to do that. And obviously the family is thrilled as well. Did it rain overnight here? Uh, not that I recall. Okay, so it was yeah. better than it was where we were then because I think it was rain. Well, it didn't rain overnight, it rained during the day. Yeah, yeah. And so she, do you know whether she has any indication that she was lost? Any bruises, any scratches? I, I have no idea. She's, she appears to be uninjured at this time. So other than that, I don't know. Like I said, I came down to be able to share the good news and um, I'll have more information and we'll do a press release so that we'll have, make sure we've got everybody's names who helped and also um, provide a little additional details. A very happy family. 
family. Yes, very happy family. Yeah, we're all very happy. All the searchers are happy. This is the outcome that we all hope for when we when we do this. This is the payoff. Thanks, Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Denise. Uh -huh, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming up. Good job. Thank you. Did <laughs> you found it? Now go, you can go, go home. Again. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna go and sleep. I'm gonna go and sleep. And I didn't cry. That's even better. <laughs>